Army, Notre Dame in a game that would this this would be for the national championship if this were the 30s. But this is a huge stakes Army Notre Dame game. Army is undefeated. Bryson Daly lighten it up at quarterback for the Black Knights. But Notre Dame is a 14 and a half point favorite. This is a line that has moved toward Notre Dame since it opened. You saw Notre Dame play an undefeated Navy early in the season. And a lot of the personnel issues that Navy had, Army feels like they will have against Notre Dame. Because for those who don't know how the recruiting works in the in the service academies, they can't take the huge, huge guys. It just doesn't work for the requirements they have at the school, the physical requir requirements. Because remember, these guys are all going to be soldiers. So that is tough in terms of having 300 plus bound defensive linemen. They don't. If they have one, it, it's somebody who's like 301. But a lot of the guys are like 275, 280. Notre Dame is massive across the offensive line. That is what helped Notre Dame against Navy. Now, Navy committing a lot of turnovers also helped. But Ari, I, I can see Notre Dame just mashing them up front, and that's the problem. Yeah. I mean, there is a point where just physicality in the trenches is just a, a unovercomable problem, right? Like, I mean, if you can't hang in there and, you know, hold your hold your line or hold your position, like, it's going to be a problem. Why can't there be 300-pound soldiers, by the way? Uh, you need them to be able to run and have a lot of stamina and, and fit into different vehicles. So the fitting into the vehicles, I understand, but like there are some 300 yeah. pound monsters on LSU's defensive line that can run. Pretty no, good. no, no. I, I yeah. listen, there's some 300 <laughs> pound dudes that would, if, if you sent them out, you know, for the army or the Marine Corps, they're very, you're scary. making my big ass run three and a half miles next week. <laughs> yeah. If I can do it, they can do it. Uh, trust me. The, the average human is getting bigger, so maybe that's going to help serve academies in the future. But right now, they're not looking; they're, they're not out there getting a lot of three hundred thirty pound D tackles. There's not. Yeah. So this is the problem. What Army's got to do is make Notre Dame make mistakes. They have to suck possessions out of the game, which they will definitely try to do. And and then look, if Army can can score and hold the ball for a while and get Notre Dame's offense out of rhythm, they have a chance. But if they make some mistakes like Navy did, it's going to be over very quickly. Yeah. The line movement towards Notre Dame kind of scares me a little bit. Um, you know, because we have seen Notre Dame against service academies in the past that just like they might, like if the service academy is able to dictate the tempo of the game mm -hmm. and have a nine minute touchdown drive, it gets really hard to cover big spreads. Like you have to, if you want to lay the points, you have to assume that Notre Dame is going to score with ease and you have to, you know, put into, you have to put your faith in the fact that they're going to get stops and not just stops after an, a 12 play drive. I mean like stops and get them off the field. So like, I actually still very much like Notre Dame. I think the, the physicality and the, you know, difference in the size of these guys is going to, you know, be the thing that makes it hard for, for army to win or for army to cover. But like if army comes out and goes on the 10 minute drive and, is up seven, nothing like you can just throw that spread in the trash. Probably like it's just, but like the other thing too, is like Notre Dame's already played a team that runs this offense and has done really well against it. Different so. offenses. They're, they're, they're like the, the Navy Same. offense is, is, is a little more wing. You know, actually drew chronic came in. He ran the wing T at Mercer and then adapted it to the triple. The army's triples different. So it is, they, they are different offenses, but yes, this, the the base principles of what the defense has to do are the it's same. The first time they're facing a team that has yeah. elements of the right. option, which is right. and the thing is, helps. if you play defense at Notre Dame, you play option teams enough because you play Navy every year that you understand if if I'm if my job's to hit the dive man, I have to hit the dive man. If my job's to hit the quarterback, I have to hit the quarterback. If my job's to hit the pitch man, I have to hit the pitch man. Like, we don't talk about enough about how thankless it is to be an offensive player on the option. Because oh, you just get blown bro. up all the time, even when you don't have the ball. <laughs> but, yeah, the quarterback in the triple, you're volunteering to get your ass beat. You really are. Because you have to get hit. Like The defense has to hit you, or you'll bust something. The dive man, the defense has to hit you, or you will bust something. Like It, it, is, it, it sucks. Like that, that dive guy, that first guy through, that back, he's getting pummeled 
by three dudes every play. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, I like Notre Dame here. I do. I do too. I like Notre Dame to cover. I just think the the size of the offensive line, that they should be able to lean on Army a bit. And then also, I, I just think Riley Leonard has gotten healthy and gotten more comfortable and, and really understands his role in the offense now. Yeah. And, you know, there was a, a time period there where it was like, this is not working. What's he going to do? Remember? You know, like mm-hmm. speculation out there, you know, after they lost to NIU was went well, off the charts. So to see it, you know, work out the way that it has has been nice. And I'm excited to see what Notre Dame ceiling is this year. That's exactly right. So we both got Notre Dame. I think Notre Dame's going to cover. College football sickos, make sure you're subscribed right here to the On3 YouTube channel. Also want to make sure y'all know the hard count brought to you by our friends over at Price Picks. Playing with Price Picks using code HARDCOUNT, $5 in lineups gets you $50 in promo funds. So appreciate y'all using that code and appreciate you being subscribed.